Andreas Hostrom is Vice President and Global Head of Digital with technology consultant Sujeti, an experienced trend watcher and strategic advisor on disruptive innovation. He says many companies are overlooking one vital ingredient in their digital transformation. Innovation is important because um, for some time now in digital transformation um, we've uh, been uh, building organizations on top of the third platform. The first one was the mainframe, the second was the PC model, and now we're on the third platform. That consists of the cloud, of mobile, new touch points, of social, I meaning new platforms like Facebook and Twitter to deliver solutions and customer interactions on, and analytics. Now, since creating edge is the key topic for many organizations today, of course, when the third platform and digital is the normal is the norm. How do you create edge? That is answered by innovation. That's answered by going after that which is new and radically different. So the way an organization addresses an innovation process, uh, is it open? Is it closed? Who do you collaborate with in your innovation process? I think makes the key difference on who gets to win or who creates and maintains market leadership and, and who doesn't. As customers to any brand today, what, what you uh, value uh, is, is also, I mean, not just the quality and the relevance of the product and service, but also are, are they willing to innovate? Uh, do I see innovation and new ideas from this brand? Uh, more and more, I think, customers are, are, are leaning towards or, or, or wanting to make more business with that brand. Um, than any other brand, I think. So, so the innovativeness, uh, the, the characteristics of innovation around a brand, uh, I think drives, drives value. So Jetty plays in a number of steps in this process. Um, we help facilitate uh, creating innovation labs, innovation organizations within our customers. Um, we, of course, are helpful and we drive ideation. So with our expertise, we come up with new ideas that are relevant for, for the customer. I think gone are the days where you can build a, a, a relationship between one supplier and the organization, especially in innovation. So Society plays a, an important role in also bringing in new startup companies, uh, suppliers of, you know, with various disciplines and, 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 and areas of expertise, and we actively do that. Uh, one example of that is that we are investing heavily uh, in what we call Applied Innovation Exchange. Uh, that's a, a network of innovation hubs where the, the central piece is in, located in, in San Francisco, uh, where we bring customers and, and uh, uh, predefine together with them key objectives with a visit to the valley. And then we help facilitate bringing in startups and partners to provoke, ideate, uh, look at things from a different angle. So at the end of the portfolio build-up, Society adds tremendous value in accelerating the, the, uh, the prototyping, the piloting, and then the eventual uh, implementation of the solutions as well. So across this, we add value. We're not the exclusive source of value. That can't be any one single supplier, but uh, we add value in this process. When you look at for example, things that you know, may end up going wrong. Uh, your flight can be cancelled or delayed, for example. How can we digitally improve on that experience when it unfortunately happens? So we found when we look at the uh, rebooking, for example, if you proactively uh, can uh, connect to the passenger being affected and say on a smartphone or, or the, the smartwatch, inform the customer your flight has been cancelled or delayed and, and instead of directing the person to the customer service desk with 200 other people, uh, you get to suggestions about other routes or options and you can actually there and then uh, make your own rebooking. I would also like to add in a customer journey context um, we, we've found out with Scandinavian Airlines that there are many other organizations that can add value to their joint customer. Um, 
many airlines, if not all, uh, have these loyalty programs uh, where they are also collaborating with other companies where you can earn and redeem points. In most instances, these programs are manual uh, in nature and uh, it's difficult to actually identify and find value as a, as a member in the program. But if you, if you digitally, like Scandinavian Airlines are now doing and we are helping them to do, open up their systems using open APIs and allow members to opt in to a new digital version of the loyalty program, that enables during the customer journey other companies to help and assist when things go wrong in the customer journey. For example, again, if the flight gets cancelled or delayed, other companies can subscribe to that event, system event, and not just the airline contacts you with a re rebooking uh, functionality, but the hotel chain or the restaurant can do the same and say, we know that your flight has been cancelled, here's an offer for you, uh, it's already being prepared, etc. Et so, when things go wrong, digital can actually add a lot of value in improving the experience and help you to get along. And these are some examples of what we're finding out with Scandinavian Airlines and, and with customers uh, to, to them.